Hello friends in this lecture we are going to talk about some of the element quality parameters in the meshing so let's say i will pick up this static structure and then i will import the part so let's say i'm going to import the part that is box dot stp file and then open after that i will go to edit now i will do the meshing of this so i will go to mesh right click and then generate the mesh so once the mesh is generated here we can see option that is called display style now inside the display style it is by default use geometry settings so if i click on this and then click on this arrow we can change this with respect to the element quality so first is element quality aspect ratio jacobian then warping factor parallel deviation skewness orthogonality and then length so in this lecture we are going to talk about all these options of element quality and if we go to this so let's say i will select element quality so here you can see all the elements has been changed with respect to the element quality similarly we can see with respect to aspect ratio so this is the well maximum value of aspect ratio with this red color and this is the minimum value similarly we can also change with respect to all these parameters if i go to this quality and here we can see mesh metric right now it is none so if i click on this and then click on this arrow and let's say i want to select this with respect to aspect ratio so here we can see a chart will open now inside this chart on the horizontal side we have element matrix on the right side on the left side we have number of elements so it is going to show the aspect ratio of these elements so if i click on this element we can see it is showing the element with this aspect ratio similarly this element like this so here we can select the elements depending on the type of element quality just like we have skewness on the horizontal side we have all these value like this is 0.13 0.25 0.38 now let's understand what are these element quality so basically in order to generate a good quality of mesh and to have a better and accurate result we need to have a good element quality criterion if our element is highly skewed and the element is like a very tilted or it is very skewed it is not going to provide a good result so what happens in different companies they have different standard of element quality and we need to generate the mesh with respect to those element quality in the element quality we have some parameters like we have element quality aspect ratio jacobian warping factor parallel deviation corner angle skewness and orthogonal quality so here we can see all the options inside this mesh matrix option so we are going to learn how this type of element quality are calculated inside the software for example first we have mesh quality matrix that is called orthogonal quality so orthogonal quality is calculated on a cell or on a face so basically it is going to take area vector or a1 on to all the three faces in three directions we can see face normal and then fi is a vector from the centroid of the cell so it is going to create a vector product of them by this formulation and the value is calculated if the value is zero it is the worst quality of element and if it is one then it is the perfect quality similarly we have something that is called skewness now we can calculate the skewness use, using this formula that is optimal element size minus optimal cell size and 
divided by optimal cell size. So optimal means a perfect element. So here we can see this quadrilateral is like a perfect element. This is actual cell. Similarly, we can also calculate the normalized angle deviation using this formula by theta max by theta e etc. So here again zero now here in this case if we get a zero value of skewness it means this is a good quality of element and if its value is one then it is worst quality. So again for the skewness if we get a value like 0.5 to 0.8 it is a good quality and 0.8 to 0.94 that is acceptable. Similarly this is in this orthogonal 0.15 to 0.2 is acceptable and lesser than this value that is bad and unacceptable. So we have to make sure our element quality lies within in this zone. So aspect ratio is basically length to height in case of 2D. Here we have 2D. So that is it is the ratio of length to height. In case of 3D it is calculated using area ratio and ratio of circumscribed to inscribed circle. So circumscribed is whenever it geometry is inside a circle this is circumscribed. Whenever a circle is inside the geometry this is inscribed. So area of this type of circle is calculated for the element quality. In case of smoothness we can see smoothness means the proper element size. So here we can see it is a very smooth mesh. So for a good smoothness it is calculated using the formula that is sigma i equal to v i by v n b. Okay, so if the value is between 1 and 1.5 it is good and if it is greater than 5 it is a poor quality. So in this way some of the element quality parameters are calculated.